Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jem from Jem's Floral Studio, a florist in Staffordshire, England. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to create and wrap a modern style bouquet. Now in the UK at the moment, it's a massive trend on like gold foliage, feathers, really OTT sort of style. So I'll just talk through all the flowers and components that we have and then I will show you how to make and construct the bouquet. So we have got some gold sprayed leather leaf. We've got some white avalanche roses, peach spray roses, some stems of uke, wax for uh, filler flower, wax flower. And we've got a couple of hydrangeas. We've got some smaller feathers for a filler. We've got a long pink ostrich feather, which I absolutely love. And we've got a couple of stems of pink anthurium. So let's get into creating. Now, all these flowers have been delivered by my supply from Holland this morning. They've all been conditioned. Um, if you don't know how to condition your flowers properly yet, we have a video for you and we will link it in the description. So first things first, we are going to be using a hydrangea, so it's the biggest flower and it's going to be a sort of focal point for us making the bouquet. So then I'm just going to go round with some eucalyptus, we're going to use the tap turn technique which we also have a tutorial for which is brilliant for you and we will also link that in the bio so you can become a floral superstar as well. So we're just going to go round with the eucalyptus like so, adding in a bit of our wax flower, probably about three stems at the moment, just so then when we put the next flower in it won't be squidged against the hydrangea. So then I'm just going to go round with some spray roses, put one there, put another one here, spray rose again, and another white rose here. Then we'll get our chrysanthemum bloom, pop them in between the spaces and the gaps of the other flowers, like so. Then I think we'll go for the other hydrangea here. Add some more wax flower to really add that depth into there, making it look bigger. Then pull down any of the flowers that are coming right out so that it's nice and equal. Then I should just go around and add the other white roses into any of the gaps that you can see. So if you can see there's a bit of a gap here, so I'll just feed the rose into the gap, making sure it's still going into the spiral, like so. Let's add some more wax flower probably here. And then I'll put the last white rose there. So then, make sure that hydrange is nice and steady. We shall then go round with our gold foliage. So I normally have about six leather leaves, but that's just in case there's not enough. Normally about five, but I'll put that one there. And then at the back, we are going to add our highest level which is the ostrich feather. So you can see that just right at the back. And then we shall just add the other gold leather leaf to the back of it as well. So it looks something like this. And then I do like to add the anthurium last because they can bruise easily. So we'll put one at the front here, and maybe one. Ooh. You don't want to be doing that. <laughs> And then probably one here, like so. And then the last gold foliage just right at the back. And then bring everything up so you can properly see every single flower in the bouquet. 
And then I'm just going to add in some little feathers. I'll come further towards you so you can have a proper look. So it's looking like this at the moment. So then I'm just going to add some feathers around just so it has more of that OTT look. So I'm probably going to add about six these feathers that I've wired. If anybody would like a tutorial on how I wire these, then please do let me know. I hope you could see that as well. So I think I've added about seven of the smaller feathers now. So yeah, so that is how I have made the actual bouquet. And now we're going to tie it. So now I'm just going to get some raffia. I think that raffia is way easy to tie a bouquet with. So just round the binding point. Out here then just lie it flat nicely onto the table. Let me shift this round so you can see. And then just tie it in a double knot. Like so. And then all we need to do is just trim the bottoms down with the scissors. So I'll just go and grab them. So just trim the raffia down. Then get rid of that and that on the table. And then we just need to just cut the stems down a little bit just so it's easier to wrap. So probably about that long, if you can see. Okay, then I'll just lie that flat. I'm just going to get rid of all the bits. So it will go in the bin after, of course. And then we shall go on to the wrapping part. So we have actually done a wrapping tutorial before. So if you need a recap on that, link in the description. Um, and you can go and work on your skills with the wrapping. But... I have got some lovely cellophane, so we've got some pinks, golds and whites and then we are just going to wrap the beautiful bouquet. So if you remember we go pinch upwards, bit of sellotape, grab the binding point and turn at a like 45 degree angle will be fine. And then repeat the same again. Sellotape. I think sellotape's way easier than stapling or tying. It just saves time. Now I usually use about three or four sheets. Just so it's not over the top. But it's also wrapped very, very nicely. So I'll just pop one at the back. A clear one at the back just so... It makes it all nice and equal. Then I'll just give it a squint, a squidge at the binding point, like so. Get my sellotape, just put some all around there so the cellophane stays nice and steady and doesn't blow in all different directions. So there it is, just wrapped as a hand tied. We're going to do an apple bubble, so we're basically going to cut the stems down a little bit more. So taking another about three inches off, making sure it's at the 45 degree angle at the bottom of the stem so that the flowers can get water straight to their heads. They've got more of a surface to soak up the water and your flowers will last longer. Just make sure the bottoms are quite equal as well so every flower is getting the same amount of water in there put the other bits on the floor which are going in the bin in a minute and then we shall get our square piece of cellophane and this is going to act like the bars so we just pop our stems into the middle of the square and then get one at the other end of the cellophane, put it up, grab both ends at the binding point and pleat 
all the way up. So all the bottom of the stem is completely wrapped with the cellophane and there's no gap for the water to get out of, otherwise the water will go everywhere, soak the bag and it will just be a disaster. So then I'll just get another piece of raffia and just tie that round the binding point as well. Let me move it towards you so you can see. So just like this, just double knot it, then just cut the excess off, grab your bag, make sure the back's at the back and the front where the sticker is, and then you just need to fill it with water which I will show you now. Okay, so many of you know that my studio is being renovated at the moment and I can't find anything, but I did find this glass big enough to hold the water that's going in there. It can hold up to a bottle of wine. <laughs> Don't ask me why I've got it, but I'm just going to try and show you how to do it. I'll come towards you actually, that might be easier. So... We get our bow cow. I'm just going to pull the camera a bit away. Sorry. Um, and then what I do... Oh, God, it's going everywhere. Um, just basically pour it into the middle. The whole thing will be good enough. And then I always just check the water level. Then just make sure that it's not too low, not too high. So as you can see, that's got the perfect amount of water in, if you can see the water level there. Put that back into the bag nicely. And then there you have it. Your beautiful bouquet. And then here's a better view of it. So here we go, our over-the-top modern-style English bouquet all wrapped up nicely and created. Now, if you did like this video, I'd be super duper appreciative if you could subscribe, comment and like. Um, we do do weekly videos and yeah, I'd love you to come and join us on our journey. Thank you so much for watching.